I think it's fair to say these brand new tailor-made golf balls are going to split opinion. Right, straight away that one's not far away. Is absolutely insane. But realistically, oh. Now I must admit that shocked me. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today we have the brand new TaylorMade Speedsoft ink golf balls and as you can see they come in a variety of colours. Are these golf balls just a little bit of a party piece from TaylorMade or should you seriously think about using them in 2024? Today we are out on the gorgeous island of Tenerife at Amarillo Golf. I'm going to put these balls to the test and see if they're a little bit of a joke or something more serious. So guys, do me a favour and get in the comments below and let me know what golf balls are you currently using in 2024? Would you consider using this new offering from TaylorMade? And what do you think to the colours? You can see I've got three of them here. I also have some pink ones in the cart. What colour is your favourite? And do you think these are going to work well? Two-piece ball, it's not a urethane cover, and this isn't a premium offering from TaylorMade. This is more of a budget option at 26 pound a dozen so right 180 yard par three gorgeous looking hole let's see how close we can get with the speed ink right straight away that ball's launched so high in the air it felt quite soft actually and that one's not far away from being the perfect shot with these new tailor-made balls. I'm a huge fan of tailor-made thinking a little bit outside the box. Tailor-made have come on leaps and bounds with their visual technologies. Obviously, first of all, we had the picks, then we had the stripe, and now we have this. A little bit more out there. But again, I can't believe how easy that ball is to launch in the air. I'm not really doing anything differently with those shots. And they're going nice and high very easily. So if you're looking for an easy launching ball, which most golfers would probably help, this could be a great option for you. That's two great shots and one pretty good to start with. One of them spun back miles. And this isn't a three-piece urethane ball. This isn't a premium ball. But check this out for one flag high left, one which I think was the first shot of the day, glorious and has stopped on a dime and then the final one that just kind of came back there so for me realistically there all you're really wanting out of a golf ball is consistency at this price isn't it we're now 140 yards out we're into the wind can we fly this ball down and how versatile can it be the color systems here aren't the only talking point we actually have an extended flight pattern that's a shallower u-shaped dimple that increases the volume ratio and the seamless 322 dimple pattern increases dimple coverage the result, a ball that potentially flies further alongside the new power core, which is a faster core material developed for additional distance. Now, that's all good and well, but does it work? We're going to find out today. We're also going to see if we can fly it down this 8 iron from 140. You can hear the wind now. It's really, really strong. A little low draw should be perfect here. Straight away, that ball's popped up in the air. It's going to be okay, but it's not the low flight that I am wanting. It's a greening regulation, so we're going to tick a box there. But I wonder if this ball's almost too easy to launch for a lot of golfers. That's better. And that's all over it. Be the club. Be the club. That is delightful. One thing I'll say about these balls is they do feel incredibly soft for a two-piece ball. better a lot better so again there although these balls weren't quite the trajectory i wanted you can see we've hit two pretty good ones in there that would be birdie opportunities and one of them was just kind of spun down to this little hollow here i can't believe how much control i'm getting with these balls to say how soft they feel and how high they are launching it's oh to say how soft they feel and how high they are launching, I'm surprised that I'm still getting the distances that I am getting. Make sure you stay tuned to see just how they do perform with driver coming up. But let's see what they're like around the greens, because this is where so many golfers often don't think too much about what ball they're using. And again, that stopped absolutely immediately. It wasn't even a great strike. 
And again, on a sixpence. Could this be? Because you see, when TaylorMade introduced Tor Response, I was shocked as to just how good it was and how I basically put it in the bag because I didn't think it would be because it's not TaylorMade's premium ball. This might be a slightly different matter because it's a two-piece ball and the stripe technology for me is a game changer. But then I guess for the right golfer, the ink technology could be a game changer as well. Come on, in. Ah, oh, that felt so good. So guys, oh. we are now back in the glorious UK. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't stay in Tenerife forever. And we're gonna do the driver testing here because I'm really interested to see just how good these balls can be with driver, both for numbers and out here on the golf course where it truly counts. And I'm a huge believer here that I like what Taylor May are doing. I like that they're introducing new colors, new designs. But the big thing it can't be is it cannot be a gimmick. It has to be a performing ball. It's only a two-piece ball. It's still not the cheapest ball in the world. So are you paying quite a bit of money for a fairly average ball with a lovely pattern on it? Let's test that with drive. It was so easy to launch with irons out in Tenerife. Let's see how easy it is to launch with driver. Now I must admit that shocked me because I didn't expect that to come out that low or that powerfully, if that's even the right word. I thought that was gonna climb up in the air with quite high spin. We're into the wind today. As you all know, this is a hole that I really enjoy testing driver on because uh, I hate the hole, so I have to hit a good drive. Chris is also down there on the right hand side. So if this goes near him, I might have to shout four quite loudly. Can we hit the same ball flight? Ah, that's the higher one and that's just leaking to the right. Nothing to do with the ball really. I mean, if I show you where I've hit that out of, that certainly wasn't the best. That was more of an anti don't hit Chris swing. But you can see the difference there in the two strike locations. One of them absolutely centered and the other one quite high out the toe, which has made the face gear open. But one thing I will say is the balls feel good. They feel, they don't feel like they're a cheap material, which sometimes when a golf ball isn't urethane, it feels a little bit cheap, a little bit plasticky. That's not the case here. I think TaylorMade have done a really good job in making, let's be fair, what is a, still a pretty affordable ball with a little bit of a splash of color that can still potentially perform well for a lot of golfers. Sit. This is what I mean about this hole. Lovely ball like that. I think the ball's went really well, unfortunately. That might well be one of these first golf balls in the world in the pond. I do hate losing new golf balls. You know, when it's something new with like a logo. That's one thing which I must admit, it almost puts me off using balls like this because I don't like losing them. Say if it's a ball with my name on or a ball that's fresh out and it's brand new and it's something really special, I was feeling the more pressure playing with them. I don't know if that's just me, maybe it is. Do you feel under pressure using golf balls with logos on them? Let me know in the comments below. One thing I will say is they're very easy to spot. <laughs> At least we've only lost one. Now, one thing that I find really interesting having tested these balls, both here in the UK and out in a very windy, blustery Tenerife, it's quite windy today actually as well, these balls do react quite well in the elements. And it's not something I would anticipate a two-piece ball to be doing, even when it comes to launching pitching shots like this. We're about 60, 70 yards out here. And if I launch this speed soft ball out there, I have to check what it's called then, because the name's a little bit blase, I think. The name, I think the tall response and soft response names are a bit poor as well. So I think TP5 is a fantastic name. Could we maybe go TP3, TP2, then you'd know what order they're in, potentially, like because of how many pieces the ball is. But we look at the speed soft here and I can play a low one in there and that felt delightful as well it stopped nicely very very difficult flag to get at and that's actually spun back a little bit there if i hit the same ball i can launch it nice and high if i want to i can open the club face up and just launch it nice and up in the air again felt pretty nice that's all over the flag oh i thought that had gone in but i mean the, the now in my title for this video i might well use the term terminology shocked or something like that because yes the ball has performed how i want it to it's easy to launch you can still play it down with driver if you have the right technique and you can also 
play shots like that. Look where that's pitched and look where it's finished. So now if we look at the Tor Response Ball, which is a slightly more expensive ball, it's still not tailor-made premium TP5, but this is my ball of choice. I really enjoy the urethane cover, the three-piece ball, and of course the stripe technology. This is one thing which I will admit, I think tailor-made are certainly number one at visible technology on golf balls. I have no doubt saying that. Callaway try very, very hard, but for me, tailor-made nail it with the amount of feedback you can get in performance, whereas I feel like potentially this version with the splash ink, does that help as much? We'll have a look in a second. But if I come back to ball flights here with the tour response, I'll play a low one. Again, I can play that nice and low. It's gonna stop nicely. I've learned a little bit more for the distance control, so that's just because I'm picking up on that I came short on the first one. And then if I want to play a nice and high one again, we can do that nicely. That's all over the flag once again. That one has just finished a little bit long. But I certainly don't feel a huge difference in these balls. To say one's a urethane three-piece ball, the other one's a two-piece ball that's made of cheaper construction, I think they've done a pretty good job with this. I really do, and I hope it's going to entice more people to potentially think about what ball they're using, maybe because of the visual technology or maybe because of the price. We're certainly taking this for the price, aren't we? Look at that for stop control from a two-piece golf ball. Now, long before I went to Tenerife, I tested these golf balls in the studio to see just how they did perform for numbers against the TaylorMade TP5X pick. That's a golf ball which I've used quite regularly. I really enjoy using it. I use it for all my indoor testing with it being a five-piece low spin ball. As you can That'll see... That'll be interesting. That'll be really interesting. Yeah. The cheaper ball actually did okay. I'm not gonna say it's pulled up any trees. It did okay for spin. The ball speed was a little bit lower than the TP5, as you can imagine, resulting in a little bit less distance, both carry and total. But for the price, this is a golf ball that's almost half the price of a TP5, and it has a nice little cool color system on it. I think really, this ball's doing exactly what TaylorMade wants it to do for the money. Having tested this ball, I am quite impressed with it but mainly not because of the visual technology, just because the properties it has and the ball flat I was getting. Now, I think I would still go with the Tor Response. You look at the feedback you can get on the roll of the Tor Response, I feel like that's certainly why I would be using that golf ball. That one missed, but I know it was a good roll and the pace was good, I just underread it, so I'm ticking off what I need to know there. Now, if we look at this speed soft and we look at the, the ink, the splash ink that's on there, I'm not sure this gives us the same kind of feedback like it's certainly telling you and this is nothing to do with missing the putt but it's certainly telling you a little bit of something but i don't think it's as clear as the picks i don't think it's as clear as the tour response but i don't really see it as technology i see it as a bit of fun but realistically i like i i don't see how that gives me as much feedback as this and obviously the tour response is more expensive the picks golf balls on the tp5 is more expensive are they going to put this splash ink potentially on a tp5 or on a tour response I'm not so sure, but I really enjoy the feedback that that gives us. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know, would you buy these brand new tailor-made golf balls and would you put them in the bag for 2024? Apart from that, I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow.